Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Hi, my name is Sovia. What's your name? My name is Jeff. What do you do? I'm a podiatrist. What about you? I'm a nurse. What do you do in your free time? I like to play piano, go bowling and chat with my friends. And you? I like to hang out with my friends, play games and go swimming. Would you like to go out sometime? Sure. That'd be great. Where would you like to go? Anywhere with you. Aren't you sweet? Is there a city where it's always warm? Yes, there are many cities where it's almost always warm. San Diego, for example. Are there any other cities where it's always hot? Many. Most of the cities in the southern part of the United States are hot all year. But why do so many people live there? Most people grow accustomed to the climate, but there are many others who complain about it all the time. Are there any cities where it rains a lot? Several. Two good examples are Seattle, in the state of Washington, and Portland, Oregon. Tell us about some cold cities. In the north, there are many cities which are very cold in the winter. Boston and Chicago are two of them. Is it always cold in Chicago and Boston? Oh, no. On the contrary, there are many beautiful days, especially in the spring and fall. I decided to go for this kind of life. Try to keep cool. It's not an easy take. I know. I always hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Then you will be in line for a doom. I can't decide whether to go to university or to get a job. Well, if I were you, I'd go on studying. But I don't even know what to study. If I had chance again, I'd major in English. You're good at language. That's what my parents want me to do. You should take their advice. They know what's best for you. But my friends will have jobs and lots of fun, while I spend all my time doing reading and writing. But if you go to university, You'll still have time for fun. Hum, what you say makes sense. But you know, I still have to ask my parents for pocket money, and I hate to do so at this age. And if you try to find a part-time job, you'll have some money too. You're right. Thank you for the advice. Is there a lot of snow in this region at this time of the year? Yes, the snow is often falling thick and fast here. Well, I think I like it. I appreciate the snow very much. Yes, it's really so beautiful with all the things covered by snow. By the way, where can I go ski? There are so many places around. Take a look at the advertisement. What dances do you like? I love to dance the fast music. Then you must be interested in disco. Yes, it's my favorite. Oh, it's a disco. Let's dance. You're a good dancer. Thank you. Now they are playing a rumba. Would you have a try? Sorry. I feel like sitting out the next dance. Okay. Let's get something to drink. Good idea.
I am totally fed up with my boss. He has crossed the line one too many times with his sexist comments. This time I am really going to report him for sexual harassment. What happened? Did your boss say something to offend you at work? He constantly lets inappropriate things slip out, referring to the women employees as girls or calling a sweetheart or darling. I doubt any of my male colleagues would stand for such treatment. Don't you think you are overreacting a little? Calling you by nicknames shouldn't be so bad. You're missing the point. It's about respect. He treats us with such a patronizing attitude, as if we are not equal or not as serious as our male co-workers. It's his attitude that needs to be changed, not just his words. That's what you get for working in a male-dominated field. I think you'll find that most male bosses in your industry are already conditioned to treat females in this way. You probably won't be able to change him. What are we going to do? I can't get the car out of this ditch. I'm stuck. I'm worried, Tom. I haven't seen any other cars for almost an hour. I know. This is terrible. What can we do? This snow doesn't stop falling. I told you we should have stayed in town today. The weather report said 100% chance of snow. Why did you want to come up here? I wanted to show you the cabin. We only had another half hour to go. Well, now we're stuck. What can we do? I don't know. I've heard that when this happens, it's important to save energy. What do you mean? We're stranded here, Tom. We may be here a long time. We need to conserve the gas in the car. The car's energy is what will keep us warm. I have plenty of gas. Yes, but the gas and the battery both have to stay working. We can't just let the car run and run. If we do, it will die soon. Then we'll freeze. So what can we do? Turn the lights off. Then, run the car and the heater only about 15 minutes every hour. That will conserve the heat as long as possible. All right. That's a good idea. I wish we hadn't come up here. Now we'll probably be here for days. Days? Yes, it happens. That is what happens in big snowstorms. People get stranded for days. Oh, my God. It's good we have food. Probably we'll survive, but turn the car off for about 45 minutes. Then we'll turn it on again. Okay. I'll follow your advice. Actually the general manager is regarded as a baby doll. He has much sympathy. That's right. And his wife is a baby doll, too. She used to have many followers. Were you one of them? Nothing of the sort. I can't hold a candle to her. Who's the champion in this picture? Let me show you, the one with curly hair. He's very handsome, I think. I wonder if it is possible that we organize a dinner party for all the colleagues in our departments. They are working very hard these days. Maybe it is time for everybody to relax a little. That is a good idea. I love it. What time do you think is convenient? Well, what about this Thursday evening after we finish the weekly meeting? Okay. I will inform everybody when they come back from lunch. It has been a long time since we had the department dinner last time. I am sure they don't want to miss it. I hope so. Let me know how many will come. Then I will book the restaurant.
Have you gone bowling before? No. Could you tell me something more about it? I want to play well. There are ten frames in a bowling game. Each player is allowed to bowl two balls in each frame. You just said ten rounds. Round and frame are two different terms. Perhaps you can tell me a little more about this. Hey, slow down. I'll tell you more while playing. You are studying here, aren't you? Yes, I have been here for three years. Do you like this campus? Well, I'm rather disappointed with it. How come? It's too old, and it isn't as spacious as I expected. Oh, it's awful, but it can't be helped. I'll just have to put up with it. He is penny wise and pound foolish. Why do you say so? The trash of the world he sets high price upon. But the heavenly things he shamefully undervalues. Maybe all of us are the same. I found a new job after all, and I like this one even better than the last. You see, every cloud has a silver lining. I wonder if I could possibly borrow two bikes from the shop tomorrow. I'll take actual care of them. I promise you. Well, all right, Mark. Just this once, but you have to pick them up yourself. I'm a very busy man. Oh, that's all right. It's very kind of you. Can I come around now? I'd rather you didn't come immediately, as I said I'm very busy at the moment. Come after lunch, Mark. You know, Mary, I feel we meet somewhere before. Where were you born? I was born in Beijing, but I spent most of my childhood in London. What was your childhood like? I had a pretty strict upbringing, and my parents taught at universities, so they have extremely high expectations for me. Where did you go to university? My parents wanted me to stay in Beijing, but I decided to go back to England. I graduated from University of Newcastle upon Tyne with a degree in cross-culture communication. What is your current occupation? I am a journalist. I write for China Daily. Did you know that you wanted to be a journalist right after your graduation? No, I didn't. I started working at a university in London, but as time went by, I found I did not really like my job. I decided to explore other fields. Journalism is great fit for me as well as a challenge. Do you like your current job? Yes, I came to Beijing two years ago, looking for new opportunities. I was lucky because my friend introduced me to my current company. How long have you been in China? A few months. How do you think of living here? Great, I'm having a great time. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.